Welcome to Lyndhurst. This is a wonderful place to come visit. Lyndhurst encompasses 67 acres on the widest part of the lower Hudson Valley and is considered one of the most important houses of the 19th century in the United States. The first owner and builder was a gentleman named William Paulding, who was a general in the War of 1812. He was the mayor of New York City for two terms. He and his son employ Alexander Jackson Davis, who was essentially the first American star architect, as it was. He built state capitals, he built universities, he was really quite famous at the time. The second owners are the Merritt family. He made a huge fortune in the expansion of the railroads. That allowed him to double Lindhurst in size. He only owns it till the 1870s when he passes away. At that point, railroad baron Jay Gould is looking for a place for his family to spend the summers. Ultimately, in 1880, Jay Gould purchased the house for his family. After that, the house stays in his family through a succession of owners. It goes first to his eldest daughter, Helen Gould, who becomes a famous philanthropist, and then to his youngest daughter, Anna Gould, so both the daughters wanted to preserve this estate as a memory to the wonderful times that they had here. Lindhurst has really an incredible landscape as you look around us and it's wonderful to enjoy. But as lovely as this landscape is, the house is really interesting. And when you go into the house, that's where you really see the beauty and the personality of the various different owners that were there. So why don't we go in and take a look? We're standing in the Grand Picture Gallery at Lindhurst, which displays Jay Gould's a collection of French academic paintings. This is perhaps the largest and grandest room in Lindhurst. The dining room at Lindhurst is another great room that's designed by Alexander Jackson Davis. This is a room that he designs when he's brought back to double the size of Lindhurst. When you look at the walls and much of the woodwork, everything looks to be made of stone, oak, rosewood, rare materials, marble, but in fact, much of it is faux painted. Faux painting was a way of reproducing materials that look like other materials. The library at Lindhurst is actually a very interesting room. It started life as the dining room at Lindhurst. During the Civil War, the original dining room wasn't considered to be large enough and a new dining room complex was built. The old dining room becomes a library. One of the interesting rooms on the ground floor is what's oftentimes described in the architectural plans as the gents room. This was a place where after dinner, men could withdraw privately, smoke cigars, drink alcohol, and discuss politics and business. And probably most interesting, we have a very high quality Wooten desk, which was essentially Jay Gould's traveling office. When Helen Gould buys the estate after her father's death, she doesn't move into her mother's bedroom, she moves into her father's bedroom. The placement in bedroom is about who owns the house, not about gender. Anna Gould, who was the youngest of the Gould daughters, marries not one, but two French aristocrats and returns to the United States as the Duchess of Talleyrand, one of the fanciest and most notable uh, aristocratic names in France. When you go to the bedrooms that Anna used uh, when she came back, you'll see them decorated in that French taste. And it's one of the few places in the house where you're not going to see American furniture. From a personal perspective, I truly love driving into Lyndhurst every day. And literally when you get off the highway and come through those gates, your blood pressure goes down by a significant amount. So I want everybody else to experience that. So please come and see what I see every day and visit Lyndhurst. I know you'll have a great experience.